Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting outside. Oh, my coffee's my coffee's over there. I can't reach it. Uh, having my coffee with all of you. It's gonna be an overcast day. It may rain a little bit. Um, I am just tired because I have been cu cutting up wood for days. And I have to show you something. Neighbor dude brought over more wood. Oh my gosh. While I was busy cutting up some more wood with the bow saw, well, neighbor dude was cutting up some more trees. He loaded them up into the back of his truck. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. This is the stuff I want to do with the bow saw. Look at how much more wood. Oh my gosh. Uh, and he said he still has one more load to bring over. And he's got like three or four more trees he wants to cut down. <laughs> I am not going to have to cut down any more wood this year. And I still have that half a red oak out in my woods. Oh my gosh. Thank you, neighbor dude. I gotta be honest with you. I am, <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of having baby chicks inside the tiny house. Uh, it's only been a couple, two, three weeks, but um, I need to figure out something for their little outside run and figure out when it's gonna be the best time to just let them stay outside in that little coop overnight so I don't have to have baby chicks inside. I moved the chicken hutch over here and I totally enclosed it in, well, that little fencing thingy, the little play yard that Miss Donna B gave me the last time she was down here. And um, at first, I, I figured they're going to be big enough. They're going to, they're not going to be able to fit through those slats. But yeah, they, they did fit through them and they all got out. But they, they all went back in. Um, <laughs> so I put cardboard all around the side and held it up with bricks. Well, they jumped up on the cardboard and got out. So now I've got, I found a remnant of that bird netting. I think it's the last that I've got. Um, and I have just put it from over here to over there. And then I just put that little tent up against that. And I put some cardboard down on the bottom. And the back of that hutch is against the, the little cage thingy. So they can't get out through the back because it's enclosed even on the bottom. Um... So I think uh, this has been keeping them in, which is good. And I just now put this in, like not five minutes ago. And they're already kind of getting up and perching on it. So that's great. I really, really want to be able to leave them outside. I'm so tired of having baby chicks inside. But I don't know if they have enough of their feathers yet. I just, they've got quite a few feathers. And... Uh, they've been doing fine and they don't have any heat right now. It's probably, oh, I don't know, 82 degrees outside and they don't show any signs of being cold. So I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, yeah, that little part, I'm going to put uh, the little window there. I could just put some cardboard in there for overnight and close the door, close them in. So I don't know. Um, it's getting harder and harder. What? It's getting harder and harder to chase these baby chicks around and bring them in and take them out and all that. So I'm going to have to think about that. Mama is making some noise back in here. What is going on, girlfriend? Oh, she laid me an egg. Uh, neighbor Lena, Selena, um, Mr. Lucas' daughter-in-law gave me this nesting material. She gave me three pieces of it. And so, looks like Mama has laid her egg. Yay! She loves this new nesting stuff. It is so wonderful. Well, this passion fruit vine is still lasting. And look at the fruits. They're getting bigger. Some of them have just kind of dried up and shriveled off and fallen down. Um, but, I don't know. I think these might make it. We got some rain. Oh, look it. There's two more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sure there's more. There's plenty more blooms. I don't know. This is, this is pretty cool. I like the way this looks, especially when the uh, blooms start blooming. It's just really pretty over here. Like it. I got my boy with me. Can you see yourself, Papa? Mwah. He's so good. He is. He's a good boy. He's all healed up. 
So anyway, uh, yesterday I canned up some more cowboy candy, uh, six uh, like half pints, and one of the jars didn't seal, and I think it's because I reused the lid too many times. So uh, I just added it to the like the extra jar that I just stuck in the uh, fridge. Well, my fridge, my ice chest, and um, you just added it to that, and I'll eat that like within the next week or so. So I still have some leftover brine. I'm probably going to pickle some eggs with it because, oh my gosh, that brine makes pickled eggs very delicious. Other than that, uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch these baby chicks to make sure they don't get out and just kind of decide and think whether or not I'm going to leave them out here overnight. I don't know. Uh, I'm too tired to cut any more wood today. I'm just beat. Um, and I've got a lot more to go. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.